Let's now create a layered performance. I'm going to take two sounds, piano and strings, and put them together so that they sound at the same time. Now, to do this, I'm going to first initialize a performance so I can start from scratch. Performance number one in the user group has been selected. Utility, initialize, execute. So I now have my initialized performance. And what that means is that every part of the performance, as displayed here, is set to the same patch, which happens to be 64 voice piano by default. Except that is for part 10, which is pop drum set number one. Okay, well, that piano sound will actually do for part one. That's fine. Part two, however, I wish to change. Now, to change the part, I hold down performance and patch at the same time. You can see here, shown underneath the patch button, is a secondary function part. Performance and patch takes me into patch selection mode for the part. And for part two, I can reselect to patch user 65, which is a stereo string patch. Great. And I can hear the two patches switch between them by selecting current part. But they're not layering. How do we get the sounds to layer together? Hit exit to extinguish the patch LED, taking us back to the standard performance play page. Now press your local button. OK. Well, the first thing we need to do here is select the key mode. At the moment, we're set to single, but we need to select layer. And we can do this quickly by pressing F5, so it's key mode. And this changes the key mode to layer. Now there's just one thing left to do, and that is turn on the local switch for both parts one and two. At the moment, it's on for part one, but not for two. So using these switches down here, we switch on for both parts. And we get a layer. Piano and strings.